if you try to get the bombers, you'd surely get shot down yourself. You see, because they would see you, they'd have the advantage. You have to slow up the bombers. So you had to get the fighters first. Our instructions were to look after the ME 109s, not go for the bombers. That was our firm instructions. In fact, we flew 20 hours on Spitfires. I think it was 20 hours on Spitfires before we went to a squadron. And that doesn't give me very much time to do much more than become accustomed to the aircraft. And even then, you, you, you're not fully able to take advantage of all its, all its abilities. Um, and you, every time you fly it, you experiment in, it with, in a different way. I can hear the, the airmen and the clank of petrol powders, and, uh, you know, and, and I can remember sort of uh, looking up at the sky and thinking, oh, it's going to be a lovely day again. Oh, God, another dawn, you know. S said a little prayer. Um, it's going to be a very busy day, oh, Lord. If I forget you, don't forget me. Just give me this day. Please, give me this day. Well, depends on what sort of redness you'd got. Our usual redness was sort of 30 minutes. And um, this meant that people had got their parachutes already on the aircraft. If it was mine, it would be hanging off the um, port wing. All he did Scramble base 12, and we were out of that door, and, and, you know, out the bloody way, quickly, you know. And outside you would hear the flight soldier say, right, start up, start up, and all the way down the perimeter track, air screws would turn, and by the time you got to your Spitfire, it was, the engine was running, the fitter was looking at you from the cockpit. It used to go on the port wing, which is just as well, because you walk up and under it, grab the two straps, pull away, it fell over on your back, a bit came round to here, you click, click, a bit bent down, strap between your legs and then click, click, and you're finished. Ten seconds, you're on, you're on your way back to get in. As soon as you've got it on and we're walking round the trailing edge of the wing towards the cop, he'd get out of the cockpit quicker than that and sort of lift you onto the wing, almost put you in the damned cockpit. And standing already on the other side was the... Your, your, your rigger, and they would help you on the straps. 